Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory Saturday Night Grab Bag. We're doing another uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past randomizer with Key Sanity since in four weeks, more or less. Yep. Um, I will be doing one of these for the Super Stigma Slam 2019 Video Game Marathon. <clears throat> and I'm hoping it doesn't go too poorly <laughs> because randos have a tendency to go poorly when least expected because rando. Uh, so let's, let's get up in here. Let's get up here and here and do some things. I'm also using a new variation of my layouts tonight. What with uh, the music info actually in the lower left hand corner there. I took the the tracker map <clears throat> off the layout, but I've still got it on, at my side because I still need it to kind of figure out where I have and haven't been. Um, but the item tracker is still up there. Plus I shifted some other things around. So, uh, let me make sure I've got the timer pulled up here as well. What happened to that? There it is. Okay. Very good. Well, we gotta go fast. So let's go fast in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Let's see what we get. First chest is uh, the Compass to Hera. Mm. Not exactly very useful, but hey, whatever. Whatever, I guess. Whatever. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Excuse me, sir. Got no beef with you. This one's for Blue Guard on the right. Ah, shit. Tree pole is full magic, so depending on what we get, that might be important. I'm not gonna hold my breath on anything too cool and important. Uh, the burrito for Ganon's Tower. Oh boy. Tied for the most useless thing in the world. Um, sirs, excuse me. Ooh, a big key. Big key to pod. Interesting. Ah, got nothing for me there. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Nothing of value to be found in the first few. <clears throat> How about here, though? Small key to pod. Okay, well, I'm guessing the seed wants me to go to pod. <laughs> At my earliest convenience, I should go to pod. But that will be a bit difficult without Dark World access and without any sort of items whatsoever. Because I have no offensive weaponry, reliable or otherwise. No bombs, no arrows. A single dollar to my name. But otherwise, nothing. Ye old crabby drop has got for us, huh? What you got for me, sir? Arrows. You know what? Let's grab a couple of those. Just in case. Just in case if we get the bow or something super early, we'll have some some ammo. No, oh, please, nothing good. No whammies, no whammies. It's a big old 20. Alright. We'll need to care about that. Very good. Very good. That means, uh, Mega 1 less likely to be required. Alright, this bird can please get out of here. Please get out, bird, thank you. Mushroom spot has ether. Interesting. Okay. I don't have a sword, so I can't use it, but, uh, you know, we have it, and that's important. Might be important. <laughs> and a big three hundo in the, the forest thieves den. Okay. I mean, that gives us bottle vendor cash, money for bombs, um, and a decent chunk to Zora money as well after those two things. So I can't be, I can't complain about that. I can't complain about just finding 300 bucks on the ground. That's fine. So I think what we will do is go grab some bombs immediately. Alternatively, check the back of the bar first, and then go buy some bombs, because we might get bombs in the back of the bar. The likelihood of that is pretty slim. Small key to pod. All right, well, two small keys to pod. Hooray. But 
we will grab us some bombs. We got some bombs! Just do the kind of reverse Kakariko route here. Back of the KFC first, and the well, the bottle vendor, and then Lion's Hut. Aha! A flute, you say? That's very good, and very timely. Because we will just activate it immediately, buying a small key to Harold Castle Tower from the old bottle vendor. Hmm. 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 I guess that's something. I think that does avail us of both items in Hyrule Castle Tower as soon as we can get past uh, the Magic Bat Dealy Bop. But we still got many items to discover before we even get that far. Another pod small key, my goodness. Eastern big key. Wow. Desert big key. A piece of candy. Lots of keys. Lots of keys. Another piece of candy. Alright, well. Whatever. Whatever, I guess. ticket area to check in the village here, and then we will be on our way elsewhere. Well, I guess we'll check the library and all that. Hey, look at that! Bombs in the well! Another 50? Okay. Alright, alright, whatever. Arrows. A sword! Hell yeah! And the net! Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay, well, weaponry is good. I like weapons. And a sword six and a half minutes in is nothing to sneeze at. We're definitely on <clears throat> good track to follow the standard route here. Library, we have a piece of candy, so we do not care. I'm just gonna do the race game right away. This is a good chance that there's something at least partially valuable here. <coughs> Without checking it first, then going back up and around and wasting a whole bunch of time, so. We'll do this like this. We need to get out of here real quick. We can just flute on away. A hammer! Ho ho! Ho 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 ho! Very good, I will grab the hammer. Hmm. Alright. That's good. That's good. That gives us uh, a lot of options. A piece of candy there. On top of being an excellent weapon with a slightly weird hitbox. had my druthers, I'd uh, like to find the lamp soon so we can do the full set of escape here without any issue. You know what? We're going to grab that 20. So we do still need a little bit of cash. We will need Zora money. Eventually. Sick. Alright. 
got down here? The burrito to pod. Okay. Magic cape. Big old 20. Compass to Desert Palace. And a big 300. Well, there's our Zora money. We are set to go. Almost have enough for the rest of the game, too. We need a, an extra 110 for getting into pod. And then a couple more for various chess games. Let's see. Yeah, whatever. It's one way to do it, I guess. So, I definitely will not sneeze at that extra 300. Now we need to decide where we're going to go, because we have a lot of options. Nothing particularly stand out. This crab can settle down, please. Also means we can get into Castle Tower now, too. A mirror! How interesting. Okay. Well, heck, that gets us up to Hera. That gets us up to Hera. Oh, God. Crab. <laughs> Crab, please. Alright, well, let's... Probably finish off our uh, light world play here. So nothing but a big 20 on Desert Ledge. Oops, excuse me, stairs. We will check out uh, Agonis Cave <clears throat> real quick and then maybe go for Sushirshirla too. Although, I think perhaps the east side of Death Mountain is calling our names here since we have the ability to get there. Four bombs. So perhaps we go do that. Perhaps we go do that right now. As that will get us one, two, three... Ten? Ten or eleven, it looks like? Plus the ability to check at twelve. So we've got a lot of ability here. I never really like this area too much, but we've got the ability to do it, so we may as well. Let's make sure we don't hit that hole on the way here. Much easier when you've got a sword to kind of see your way through. Okay, that should do it there. Now we just need to make sure not to get bopped by a cabbage or a squirrel, since they are both quite deadly at this point. Uh -huh. Big old 20. Oof. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. Just for safety there. Alright, old man is uh, safely back where he needs to be. Three hearts going up Death Mountain. Not exactly ideal. But hey, you go where the seed leads you. That's what you do. So now we've got a lot to check up here. We can get both on top of and inside Spec Rocks. We've got an early mirror. So what's up top? Bombos. Visited Bambos up top of Spec Rock there. What about inside a small key? Well. <laughs> Well, I guess we're grabbing that. Because needed, and we can check that hint tile over there too, so. Bonus, I suppose. So, not having the big key to Hera, unfortunately, means we can't really do much in there. We could just pop in there real quick, though. Small key to Skull Woods, and that's a dumb hint, so, alright. Very good. Soon we shall have visited Bambos. Ouch. Excuse me. We may as well poke our heads in there. Honestly, we can check. Ouch. <laughs> we can check, like, one item. 
and then maybe take a death just to get a health refill. Because doing the rest of these death mountain checks with one heart is not gonna not gonna fly for me. Alright, there's busy the bambos. So we can check two items here. One being in the basement, of course. It's ten arrows, so we don't care because we're gonna do we're just gonna pop. Get our health back. Check this one up here. Unique item requires three pendants. Shit! That sucks. That's awesome. But knowing that a unique item is on MSP really sucks. <laughs> so, if we do get literacy... Um, we are going to check the pedestal sooner rather than later, because my goodness, knowing this might be an MSP seed. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Don't like it. I don't like it. Out of my way, red-ass tectites. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Should have checked the floating island, but we are... Pretty significantly damaged here, so let's uh, take it nice and easy. Okay, that's better. A little, a little protection as we're going along here. Gonna drop another one? Damn. <laughs> Would have been nice. Alright, so Spiral Cave. Ten arrows, bullshit. Ooh, nice. <laughs> well, that could have been real bad. You wanna drop a heart for me? No, of course not. Not silly. I hate that there's red tectites everywhere. It sucks so much ass. Safe for this one. I think it's right hand side for this, right? Yeah. I think this might be a heart. Nope, it's a rupee. <laughs> so, seven items here at the very least, so we are on par. And there's some hearts here, so that's good. Big ol' heart container is nice. The flippers is interesting. That opens up a whole bunch more. Town, which we don't care about. Another big ol' heart container, sure. Blue mail, even better. And another compass to Misery Meyer. Hmm. Okay, well, I do at least want to check what's on Floating Island. Um, that was fucking weird. That was a weird non bomb jump. Again. Like, what the? Third time to try. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to be wasting bombs here. Because I was a one pixel too far to the right. There we go. So that should work fine. Dang, usually that's the easiest one to do. The setup is so simple, but eh, whatever. Well, let's see if it was worth it. I have my doubts. But I'd be happy to be proven wrong. It's a red meringue. It was not worth it. But knowledge is power, so that's good. Um, hmm. So now we can go spend Zora Cash. And also check Waterfall of Wishing. And Hobo. <laughs> I 
and check what's on Lake Hylia Island, so, you know, we got lots of stuff to do. One item pick up. Piece of candy on Lake Hylia Island, that's a no-go. have for us today. Power glove. It's so bad, but also very useful. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna pass her to fluke back down to eight. Eh, too late. We're committed. Now that leaves escape, both front side and back. We can't do dark cross. <clears throat> can't do dark cross necessarily because we don't know where the extra small key to Hyrule Castle is. Arrows and a burrito for T Rock. Okay, I guess that's alright. Not ideal. Do we have any burritos for Light World? We do not. Just a couple Dark World. Thieves Town and T-Rock, and I believe one other. <clears throat> Big Fiver on the ledge. <clears throat> Worthless. Five hundred big ones. What are we paying for here? Another small key. Wow. Many purchasable keys. And there's the other Hyrule Castle small key. So now... Dark Cross is kind of on the table if I want to try to do a dark room, but... That one in particular is kind of shitty. So maybe we don't do it. Need to get some requiter to toot on this flute here. There we go. Hmm, 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 hmm. Alright. Well, how about Sashir Shir Shir and Eastern? At least the first part of Eastern. I know we're not going to be able to get very far. We don't have the bow, so we can't finish it, although I believe we do have the big key. We do have the big key to Eastern. So no problems there. <coughs> Plus we know how to do the dark rooms in there, so that's not a big deal. Missing the bow is kind of the problem, though. But before we do that, old man, what you got hidden back there? Three items. The burrito. Burrito Ice Palace. Small key to Thieves Town. Okay, there's that one. And small, another small key to Pod. I believe that's four to Pod, isn't it? It is. So just one more and then we'll be good to go there. sure how many we're going to be able to get here. Maybe four or five. <coughs> memory serves four or five. But memory rarely serves, so I could be way off. We do. Grab the bomb. <laughs> 
Silver arrows. My goodness. Hello, hello. We will take that. Just need that bow. If you grab the bow. If we get vanilla bow in here, man, <laughs> that would be something good. Something real nice. Fucking amazing. That's what it would be, but chances of vanilla and a key sanity is pretty slim. So let's see, that was what, three? Three items? Unique item that's held with a grumpy fish. Okay, so we should check catfish as soon as we can then. Small key to Desert Palace, okay, all right. Uh, we can't get into Desert Palace, but I think we're set since we have the big key and now the small key. Four, we're on our way to five, and then Armos will hold the sixth. We won't be able to get to. There's a little enemy there. Maybe I walked right around him. Big key to God the G Tower Big Key. Boy howdy. Boy howdy hey. No longer need to be looking for that one. Alright then. Well, hmm, that leaves now escape and such, right? Front side and back side, uh we we do have the key to get into Dark Cross, I suppose, but should we try it? <laughs> I don't think I remember how to do the Dark Cross right now. It involves killing a rat in the dark, which is not on my list of excellent skills. Doesn't even make the mediocre skills list. So maybe we leave that one out for now, because it is technically still out of logic. Especially in key sanity, sometimes breaking logic will do bad things to you. Big key to mine. Goodness, we've been getting lots of big keys. One, two, three, four, five of them. Incredible. That's real good. That's real good. Sometimes those can be a bit stodgy to try to find. Buckos. I'm good for money now. Got enough to get in the pod for Kiki and enough for. Eh, maybe we're like short by 10 or 20 still. I forget. Chess game is like 40 bucks, and I think. Dig oh no, chess game is 30, and I think digging is 80? So we're probably short by a couple. A couple buckos here. Fire rod, huh? That's incredible. That's real nice. That is real nice, boy howdy. It's not quite the lamp, so it doesn't give us, uh, doesn't get the dark rooms off of our plate, but it is a good weapon. A good weapon and a good utility.
Hmm. So we're almost guaranteed to find something that will get us somewhere else here. It's the last bits in the light world that we can get to. A bow! Hell yeah! Well, that seals it. We're going back to Eastern. Going back to Eastern. Well, I guess that doesn't really seal it just yet, does it? But, I mean, we can do it. I guess the other thing would be... Hmm. Yeah, now I'm kind of... I'm kind of curious what it's actually pointing us to, since finishing Eastern is out of logic without a lamp. But we're gonna do it anyways. One item there. I, I guess it is kind of pointing us to Castle Tower, because I think we can get one chest in there without the lamp. Or maybe that's not true. Maybe we can get them both without the lamp. Because if so, that's gonna be our next destination. Oops, well. <laughs> that Octorok ate shit. But let's just go do Eastern for the for the hells of it, for the shits and the grins and whatnot. Um, this does mean doing that other dark room that I don't necessarily like doing, but whatever. We'll, we'll manage. We'll deal. A couple more hearts on our way down. Cause I'm not 100% on the lineup for this second dark room here, but we'll do what we can. see what we can do with this. Okay, I know we just need to be over just a touch. Let's move over to the right a touch, but I'm not 100% on how far based on where we start in the room. I know there's a bunch of the snake enemies around him too, so it's like... Oops. Oh, I got him. Wow, I'm surprised I actually got him. Where the hell am I now? Oh my god, really? Fucking... Trying to find where the damn pot is. Oh, and I just... Well, I don't know what the hell I was hitting. And I don't know why I couldn't pick up that pot. But we got the key, which is the important bit. Despite having to do this over again. Door, dumbass. So yeah, that's not my most favorite of dark rooms. Gods. Glad we got the key the first go through and then finish it off and kill Armos and get this item and then probably go to Castle Tower, I guess. It's really the only place we can go now. Hard to tell where that damn pot is sometimes. Soft touch of a battle with silvers. <laughs> All for a 
big 20. Boom, did we at least get a crystal out of it? Yeah. At least we get that. I don't know what kind of crystal it is, but we can check. Is that a 5-6-er? No, nope, that was a normal one. Crystal 1, in fact. So I guess we're now being led to Castle Tower. So I think that's the last place we can go. I mean, besides Dark Cross, but again, out of logic, so I don't give a shit about it. And since there really wasn't any important items in Eastern anyways, I mean, beyond the Dark Room, so we're still technically in logic. Excuse me, sir. So now I'm actually really curious, like, can we get to both items in Castle Tower without a lamp? My gut says no, but... Maybe. I, I, I Technically it has to be, I suppose. Can't get into anywhere else. I think there's at least one without needing that. Box on this ridiculous. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> sir, please. Yeah, because the there's the one here. The Moon Pearl. Okay, that might be... I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this. I have no idea where I am. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Ow! Okay, this fucking... I'm not gonna eat it right there. All right, that's fine. That's fine. The moon pearl being in that thing is good enough for me. <laughs> that's good enough for me because that does give us very good access to Dark World now. Um, oh, bzz, nice. Just wondering which one we should take. Maybe the one. Maybe we could look at Hype Cave and go circle up for. Um, uh, 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 catfish, perhaps? Since we know there's a unique item on catfish. Thanks to the old Pintaruski. Let's check a whole bunch of things here and see where we stand. Alright, so T-Rock is a 5-6-er. Pod is a normal crystal. Ice Palace is a normal crystal, and the rest we have no idea about. That's okay for now. It is not necessary information. Doesn't make it, it wouldn't be not good information to have, but it's not necessary at this point. Buckos from this dude. Alright, now we're absolutely good on cash. Burrito for Hera. Big ol' heart container. Compass for Swamp. And single ass rupee. Alright, hype cave decidedly not hype. Heart container is the most hype thing in there. Well, that's alright. We can check Pyramid on the way through, and then we'll go for Catfish immediately. Maybe we should go for pod as well. We can get just about everything in there. We're only mi we're missing one small key to make our route work. But already got a bow, which makes the shortcut kind of work for us. Small key. If this is the other, if this is the fifth pod small key, then we're golden. That's the small key to Terra. Okay, so that's somewhere we can revisit now. Do we have the big key to Terra? 
We don't. Alright, so small key only gives us one more item check up in Hera then. We know we're gonna get a unique item off the old catfish as well. Let's hope for the best. Uh, lamp would be nice. Lamp would be excellent, in fact. Lamp would... Uh, make the um, pod almost full clearable for us. Ice rod wouldn't be bad, so we don't have to look for that. Hook shot would be real nice. Very good utility item. I wonder if it counts big keys as unique items. I would suppose not, since there's 15 big keys in the game, but... No, nah, not 15. 11? 12, perhaps, if you count Hyrule Castle. Half magic? Okay. Yeah, that's... That's unique. That's a unique item, certainly. Not the one I was kind of hoping for and or anticipating. But hey, I won't turn it down. Okay, I think we will pay a visit to Pod here, since we got four small keys. Do we have the big key as well? We do. Four small keys and the big key. I'm not super excited about doing a dark room. So mayhaps we will just back out of there after we do as many items as we can and come back later. Excuse me, sir. We can at least do the kind of U-shaped dark room uh, outside the... Uh, the last boss path there. That one we can do without an issue. Um, the final approach to the boss, however, is off the table, as is the dark maze leading to the big chest. That is also off the table for us. But at the very least, we can do the front half and most of the back half. And that'll get us, like, eight checks or something. Eight items. Something like that. Not exactly ideal. More money we don't need, really, at this point. I guess it's good potion money if we ever get a bottle. Oops. <laughs> no. Trigger happy on the bomb there. Map and a chest requiring a specialist. Okay, so we don't need to worry about purple chest then. That's off the table. Things that we need to worry about. Back. That's all right. Uh, 
do this one first. Yeah, I guess. Rip one key. Some visity bams, boo urns. Hookshot is a fucking fantastic find. Alright. We're glad we dipped into pod early ish. We'll loop back around so we don't have to burn another key for the front door. this area without some key utilities, but we do need to turn that over. Oh, well, I guess that works. <laughs> that works, I suppose. Paying more attention to what I was doing here, that's right. Oh, baby's first shield. We got the Zababi shield. to Hera. All right. Well, that unlocks Hera as a destination now. Big old heart container is nice. I don't know what we got there. Oh, looks like Quack. All right. Very good, and that... Well, we've got one more place we can check now. It's the corridor down to the south there. We're gonna need one more small key to be able to clear everything out here, but we'll see what we get. Small key to ice. Alright. Okay, so we did our due diligence on Pod. We've got the Hookshot and Quack were the two important things there. Might as well mirror out and flute around a bit. We can go back up to Hera and full clear that now, thanks to the small and the big keys that we got. We might as well do that. Did we get any burritos to Light World Dungeons? We did, and it's a crystal. Perfect. So, we're only missing info on one more crystal dungeon, and we will know where they all are. That, however, does not preclude us from not going independent dungeons, for more than one reason. Oh, this asshole. Okay, good. <laughs> just, just let me get by you so I can reset the dumb thing. Alright. Um, it doesn't preclude us from going into pendant dungeons, because... One, we know there's a unique item on MSP, because the hint told us. And two, there could be a, a required item in one of the pendant dungeons anyways, thanks to you old rando. But, at least we are able to keep moving forward here, and making progress without... ...scratching our chins and... ...doing nothing.
Hopefully we didn't fuck that up. And even if we did, we can mirror out and try it again, but... I'm always very worried about soft locking here. Good, 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 perfecto, even. Ah, another sword. That's worth the time. Definitely worth the time to grab that. the bomb jump once, perhaps, and then after that we'll just kind of go eh, and fall down and get it the normal way. I think there's a heart here somewhere. There it is. <laughs> Big ol' heart container there as well. Big key of Evil's Bane is in Eastern Palace. Yeah, we already got it. <laughs> We were very fortunate to get that. Uh, should I have done it that way? I, th I think we're probably fine. Small key to two rock. Okay, I think that's only the second one that we've got of that. Which is good, but I think we need three or four to get the two rock. Oh no, that's our first one to T-Rock. Interesting, interesting. Do we have the Desert Palace one? We do. And we've got the, um... Uh... The Thieves Town one as well. Do we have the Thieves Town Big Key? We don't. Okay. So that locks us out of everything but the front half. Do we have the Swamp one? We don't. We don't have the Swamp one. Oop. Ugh. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Face. I think that was a poke rather than a spin. Yep. <laughs> Alright, alright, asshole. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Very good. Eat shit, Formula. Another small key. So, oh, there's the key to swamp. Okay. And I believe that's a... Is that a 5-6-er? No. No, that's a normal one, I think. God, it has kind of that off-tint hue to it, so I th thought it might have been a... No, that's a normal one. Never mind. Well, there's Crystal, too. The crystal sub-hour. That's, uh... That's I. That is I. And since we're up here, we may as well do Spike Cave. Since we have everything to do it with and half magic to get through. the last pod small key. Very good. So as soon as we get the lamp, we can go through and finish pod. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, okay, so... Now we're relegated to mm, just about all 
Yeah, just about all Dark World, so let's go... I guess it doesn't matter where we go, we're just gonna flute over to something. Let's probably do the Thieves Town play here. Thieves Town and surrounding area. So we've got the Swamp Palace small key as well, so that's also a choice. There's an option for later, perhaps. Go around. No mitts. It worries me that we're getting on to an hour without having the lamp. That sucks. That kind of sucks, but we've got plenty of places to go where we don't need the lamp, so hopefully we'll find it in the interim. So the lamp is really keeping us out of Pod and also the second chest in Hyrule Castle. Uh, let's see. I don't have the big key for, uh, for Skull, do I? I was thinking about doing that whilst we were up here, but maybe we will wait a little bit. There are more item-dense areas we can go to. Uh, oh wait, actually, do we have... Okay, we don't have the big key to thieves. So we can do the front four, at the very least. We'll get these two out of the way, both uh, Bumper Cave and Cave Above the Graveyard. did not care that I walked past him. Just like, yeah, fuck it. I don't get paid enough for this. Bombs up on bumper. First bottle it has a B in it. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so we're good there. We can hit that on our on our way through Village of Outcasts there. Rather dumb. Big 20 in C house. Get where exactly the sick kids house is. I think it's this one. Good guess. Right above the tavern. Big old 20 from him. Dang it. Well! That was worthless. It's okay, though. Rather no than not no. Hey! Another sword! Excellent. Oh, I forgot to mark that I had blue mail, too. So we are set as far as offensive capability. Certainly kill the pig. Bacon sword. Bones there, alright, whatever. Alright, so front 
path of Thievestown for items for us. Assuming we don't get the big key to Thievestown in here, which would be kind of silly and kind of neat as well. Forget where I was going for a second. Piece of candy there. There's our second bottle. A swamp. Okay, that makes swamp actually an excellent play now. So we can full clear it. And ten arrows there. Alright, well I was considering going up for uh for Skull Woods, but I think now we will go down for Swamp. Get these other two on the way through. Or other three on the way through rather. Uh digging game, cave south of the grove, and old old stumpy. Swamp is though. Actually, do we know what swamp is? We don't. Could be a pendant, in which case that's probably fine, honestly, knowing what we know about MSP. the arrow of destiny. <laughs> Get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. and cave south grow. Stumpy, what you got for us today, son? Big ol' heart container. Alright, that puts us to ten. That is probably the minimum amount that I'd want. So we're probably good there now. Need to go out of our way for any health. So now this leaves Swamp, or not, yeah, this leaves Swamp and Skull Woods. So I think the item dense play will definitely be Swamp, as it typically is. And then Skull Woods is also open to us. enough, neither of those two you require the big key to, to get to the bosses of, so. It just so happens we have the big key to Swamp, but not to Skullwood, which is unfortunate. That leaves out at least one item. Probably just one item, actually. Just the big chest. Small key to Skullwoods. So you know what? That's good, too. I think we have two of them now, and that should be enough to to make it through. Hey! The gloves. Good. On our way to Skull Woods, then, we can wrap up the rest of our Dark World routing on the east side. West side, excuse me. Direction's confused. And that opens up pretty much everything else now. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Watch, it's gonna be Ice Rod on MSP or something, since we know T Rod is gonna be required. Ice, which we don't give a shit about. Do we have... Okay, we don't have the big key to ice. We have a small key. Which I think we need at least one more small key. Before we even consider that. to appear for a second. I think we know ice is a crystal, so ice is going to be required anyways. Boo. Oh well. It's not the worst one out there. It's just not very fun. Heck. Now we're definitely good on defense. Another bottle filled with blue goo. for another one. Now really what we hope here is that the swamp is going to be the last crystal we need to find. Kind of parcel out the rest as pendants. Although no, let's see, one, two, three, four. We still need to find two more. An idiot. I cannot count to seven, apparently. Counting is hard. There's the other single rupee. The burrito to Thieves Town. Hey. Now we will know. that we don't care about. That leaves us with the item on the boss.
Now that we have Tempered and Fire Rod and Silver Arrows, Argus will be a, a real soft touch. Easy peasy. We're gonna go for the, the one shot. Ah. Oh. One shot. <laughs> what do you got for us, sir? More bombs, boo. And you're another crystal, so that's good. Um, whether that's a five sixer or a normal one remains to be seen. That was a normal one. Okay, very good. So, now having the Titan's Mitts, we are golden to back up a little bit. And find some other things on our way back through. So, namely, the blacksmith, the little frog, uh, peg cave, and that's about it for this. And then we can go into uh, Skull Woods, probably. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, okay, so we know Thieves Town is attended. Now, whether that matters remains to be seen. We don't have literacy, so we can't check MSP just yet. We know there's a unique item there, unfortunate, but... Make the best of what we got. Powders, we can't do Batman while we're here. to do purple chests since we know that's a map, I want to say. Thanks to another hint. Another heart. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good, I guess. Side Death Mountain is another good choice. Considering. Uh, how many keys do we have here? We've got two keys. Two small keys. That should be enough to get us through, and then we're just gonna skip the big chest for now, I suppose. That's good for another one. Very good. So we are definitely good on health. Care to go for any more of that. Boomerang. <laughs> Compass for Eastern that we don't care about. Rupees. 
grab one more small key out of this next room and then we'll be fine. We could really do this with only one small key, really. Which is good to know, actually. Good information to have, since I do not have the best of memories for what's required in Key Sanity and what isn't. Oh, come the fuck on! Get bopped into the fucking ceiling master. Get out of here with that bullshit. Lame. Interesting. Oh, and the green pendants. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we know there's one more left there, the big chest. Uh, the other one it's kind of not accounting for is that one chest in the locked room, which is always going to be a small key. Fortunately, we don't have... We don't have the book, so we can't check MSP while we're here. That's alright. Um, I think our next play is probably going to be Dark Side Death Mountain. So we can now get over there. It'll be at least seven items. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six items. Uh, the two Super Bunny and then the four in uh, Hookshot Cave. Get out of my way, you dumbass squirrel. Still really hoping for the lamp here. Small key to Meyer. I think we have two or three of those now. So 
to check what the T-Rock is. I, I guess it doesn't matter what T-Rock is. We have all three. All three medallions. Okay. Piece of candy. And a big old 20. Wow. Dark side death mountain, a real bust. Um I suppose we can get into T-Rock. I don't know that I want to, but we can. We have the big key? We don't have the big key. So we can only go so far. I guess while we're up here. Let's get what we can get. It's a vanilla quake. Vanilla quack T-Rock here. Now that matters. We got that out of Meyer? Or no, not Meyer. Uh, Pod. We got that out of Pod Darkroom, so we're technically going to be out of logic here. So we're unlikely to find the lamp that I'm really looking for. But I guess while we're up here, let's not waste time. We should be able to also do Mimic Cave as well. So that'll be something something. Uh, we should be able to do Desert. Be able to finish Desert, I think. Let's see, we can get this one here, so one, two, three... Is it just the three items that we can get in here? Hmm. This isn't quite as valuable as I was hoping, then. Small key to G Tower, okay. You know what, that's probably okay, too. We've got two of those. Do we have two of those? Well, we've only got one of those, interesting. All right. Well, that's all we need, really. So we're good to whenever we get in the G Tower to just go for it. Oh, I went the wrong way. That's all right. Got a little excited. on how many keys we're still going to need here, besides the big key and whatnot. So we got the one. Should at least get us at least one more item and I think access to Mimic Cave, so we're good. We're good for what we came in here for. And maybe the vanilla big key chest as well. So we're good there. That's good for another, maybe three. Bastard. Of course you do this to me. Oh, well, actually no, we can't even get to Mimic Cave because of that. Alright, so we're gonna need another small key for that. That's okay. Uh... I guess a hash, desert. Meyer Shed, Checkerboard Cave. Just a couple one-off spots here, really. We have the big key. We do have the big key to Meyer. Okay, so if we get the, the lamp, that will allow us to finish Pod and Meyer. As well as get us the second chest in... I wrote Castle Tower, I want to say. And Dark Cross, since we ignored that one. So I think the lamp is really what's holding us back here. 
The lamp and a handful of small keys scattered a boot. Yeah. Big key to thieves. All right, so that opens up the rest of the thieves then. Very good. Very good there, sh 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 burr burr burr. Um, hmm. Desert mire shed and all that. We're not going to mire just yet, even though we've got the keys for it. Visited Bambos. Visited Bambos to open mire. to Meyer. Alright, I think that's three of them. That is more than enough. Map for desert. Desert is the other pendant. We're probably gonna grab that anyways, because if it turns out... Oh, could Lamp be on MSB? That would probably be worst case. At this point, worst case would be Lamp on MSP. Ooh. I'm not so sure that's, uh... That might be possible, actually, because one pendant is here at Desert. Other red, blue, and then we can get through. Ah, uh, okay. Lamp on MSP might not be the worst, actually. But it would definitely be a thing that can happen. Okay, nothing but a dumb bullshit thing on the torch there that we don't care about. Boots could be on the pendant as well, or on the uh, MSP as well. Small key to T-Rock, okay, that's good, that gets us a little further there. So I think Boots and Lamp and pretty much any of the other non-required unique items could be on MSP now. Might have to do a blind to pull with it. Some bombs, woohoo. Very rich seed, lots of money. Lots of money drops and other things. Speaking of. Alright, so desert item wise has been kinda stupid. <laughs> it's been kinda really stupid. But it's a nice quick check, so I'm not gonna complain too much about it. Even though we know it's a pendant, we're just gonna full clear it. <sighs> Anticipating that there is something important on MSP. I'm always gonna try for the, the silvers on land mode because I obviously need practice with my timing on it. Ah, oh, dang, if we hadn't have gotten bopped there, we might have been able to do a nice one cycle. Take a dirty two cycle, though. Lame. 
All right, nothing but a piece of candy there and the second pendant. So now we can actually go clean up, get the last pendant at Thieves. Get the rest of the four items that are in there, and then we probably go for the uh, go for the pedestal pole and see what's there. I don't think that's a bad plan of attack since we are still missing the lamp. Keep set of Meyer, T Rock, and the rest of Pod. The only big key we're missing now is... Oh, Skull and Ice. Oh, and T-Rock. Okay. So ice and T-Rock are really the only required ones left. The skull I could really do with... Oops. What am I... What am I doing? <laughs> I skipped the entrance. Because the only thing really in Skull Woods now is the big chest, which I'm hoping doesn't have anything. Um, but it really depends on where we find that big key. gonna be the king of Brian or something. Something worthless. It was not worth our time to go through the entirety of all the pendant dungeons to get. But just in case it is actually important. surprised and saddened that we don't have the boots either. That kind of sucks. So I guess we know that Meyer is the last 5 6 or then. <laughs> By process of elimination of everything else. to pod. Woohoo! Worthless. A small key to T-Rock. Okay, that's probably good to have, too. There's the fourth bottle. Okay. Let's 
So, it's looking like a blind pull, and then we gotta start going to other places, I guess. Meyer, I suppose? Meyer and further into T-Rock would be the next best plays. So I think the only thing stopping us from completing Meyer is the dark rooms, which we don't need to do until we need to do the boss of Meyer. So that might be the most item dense at this point. Or, well, we can't go very much farther into T-Rock without the big key. Although we do have two more small keys. So I'm guessing Meyer is going to be the next play. I don't want to go into ice until... Uh, what am I doing? Right, pedestal. Uh, I don't want to go into ice until we get the big key there. I fucking... I hate going into ice once. I don't want to go into it twice. That'd be stupid. Do a blind pedestal pull, see what we get. We know it's a unique item. But it could be any number of other unique items that aren't strictly required. So we'll see. Oh my god, it was the lamp. <laughs> okay, well, that then opens up a whole heck of a lot of other things for us. Oh, we can't uh, flute from the grove, can we? Okay. I can't believe it. Lamp on pedestal. You fucking RNG. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, well. That gets us the last bit of Eastern. Or the last. Oh, not Eastern. Uh, pod. It's the last bits of Pod. That makes... do we have... yeah, okay, that makes Meyer another viable play. There's two crystals there. Um, until we get the big key to T-Rock, we can't really... well, we shouldn't really go back there. And then we're just missing the big key of ice, so... Two big keys, and then we're in go mode, I want to say. Which, you know, not too bad. Not too bad, despite... Despite pedestal being required. This actually isn't too bad. This hasn't been too bad of a seed. There's still enough time for it to really fuck me over on getting these last two big keys, but... You know, so far I think it's been a rather fair seed. Hear that, RNG? Get ready to just fuck me over. Okay, uh, we don't want to go straight up the middle, though. I guess it doesn't matter. We've got the last two keys. Uh, no, we don't. We do need to conserve one of these. So, okay, good thing I thought about that for the briefest of seconds. So let's loop around for the third time. Fucking shit. So there's three items back up here, the big chest, the two in the dark maze, and then the last one will be on King Ding Dong. <laughs> this is worthless. T-Rock compass though, so at least we'll have an idea about items. I 
Another T-Rock small key. I think we're golden there now. So now we have three more. I don't think we've seen Sankar again. So that's still on the table. Mind seeing the butter sword as well at some point. But got a lot of other items we can see at the same time if needed. matter. He's dead. And good for... Uh, big old 20. Thanks, buddy. There's Crystal 4. Okay, I think now Mire is the most item-dense area we can go to. And that's another Crystal, so away we go. Serves, and it does, surprisingly. Definitely good on small keys for Meyer. Fortunately, we're still probably gonna have to full clear it since we're still looking for Ice Palace Big Key and T Rock Big Key. But we'll at least get this one. Uh, maybe I should have done the other side first. Yeah, too 
probably. Well, oh, there's the T Rock Big Key. <laughs> one down, one to go. I believe I will leave the other side for when we go through after getting the big chest. Probably about a horse apiece going either side first. Okay, so we are one big key away from the go modes. Um, yeah, I think we need to hit that. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. All right. There we go. That's the uh, end of that chapter, methinks. Uh, oops. Alright, so now we can just go. We can just get the fuck out of here. Incredible. Just incredible. The two big keys that we were looking for is back to back. Okay, I think we're set. Just let me do some quick checks here. Yeah, I think we're good. So we should have three small keys now for T-Rock. Um, right? Yep, and we're good there. We've got the GT big key. We've got a small key for it as well. We're fine. We are golden. Just incredible. Alright, so now we just need to scam the rest of the crystals here, head up to G Tower, and be nearly done with this. Incredible. Alright, well this is looking like a solid, like, maybe 205, 207, somewhere around there. Assuming nothing else really gives us problems. Oops, excuse me. Eat the hitbox on that. Okay, well, go on the thing, you dipshit. Thank you. Wow, because this would be a really fantastic... It's kind of a fantastic seed, despite being MSP required. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm very surprised. So bootless, which sucks, but honestly, the rest of it has been pretty gosh dang good. For his lightning cycle? Fantastic. <laughs> Eat shit, Petrius. Oh boy. Another G Tower small key. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Alright, we are good to go. logic a couple times. I don't think it really didn't slow us down. It didn't hurt us, but I'm not sure that it helped us very much either. Well, either way, it doesn't really matter.
I'll do the bomb jump just to make things easier later on. Technically didn't even need the Ice Palace big key then. Just doing the bomb jump kind of obviates the need for it. Oh well. Glad we have it regardless. I suppose if I had remembered that, probably could have been on the go. Did we get the Ice Palace one or the T-Rock one first? I think we got the T-Rock one first, so we could have been in go mode like right after that without checking around for Ice Palace one. Ah, well. That's okay. We got them both back to back, so not really a big loss. bucks and another crystal. There's number six. Jeez, three of them within ten minutes. That's pretty good. It really feels nice being able to go mode these dungeons. Holy heck. Holy heck. Oh, right on it, huh? Oh. rock and then on to G Tower and then we out and we out of here out of here with good time my goodness no need to dink about with the rest of the items here or or in uh, mimic cave either much go straight for the end.
There's that one there. And then the last one will be on Laser Bridge. Or right before Laser Bridge, rather. It'll be exactly the number of keys we needed to get. Wipe there. Gift. How about Butter Sword? Ah, the shovel. Boo! <laughs> Excellent, though. There's Crystal 7. Make G Tower by buck 58 and a half. Tower big key. We got that really super early on, like within 40 minutes or so. And then we've got the singular GT small key that we need, and the rest will get on our way. Fantastic. Two small keys, because they we found one. Found one whilst we were still searching for other big keys in the strip. We're gonna have to keep an eye on our arrow count a little bit though. That kind of stinks. So we used to just firing them off with wild abandon. Let's pick up a few every now and again. Uh, okay. <laughs> As long as we hit him, that's fine. I think we have a red potion and a blue potion. We might have another potion in there somewhere. No fairies, so let's just keep a keep an eye on our health. Make sure we're not doing the dumbs. Just 
just in case I go on a wild arrow frenzy. That's okay, though. Uh, you know what? Let's go... Fire Rod for... Oh, no, or not. Oh, shit. Wow. Total whiff on all these. There we go. Okay, so now we've got... Keep an eye on our magic instead. Um, I think... We should have enough, though. Arrows in here, I think. Good, good, good. Uh -huh. Arrow drop there, too. Very good. Alright, now we should be fine. Arrow wise. Ah, dang it. I think I was a little bit too early on popping that one. There, we should be okay. Got a revenge on that. Almost got me. Validation chest is a piece of candy. Oh, good for a nice refill though. Beautiful. Good timing. Goodly timing. I don't have boots, so that's kind of a, a tricky area if you're not lined up properly. A real nice gauntlet there. That was pretty solid. Ew. Not great geometry there. <laughs> That's a little bit better. Ah, oh, and I fucked up the angle. All right, so we're at two. Oh. Oh, come on. Wow, my timing is real bad here. Bad. Oh, what? That didn't hit him? Oh, that's lame. <laughs> I disagree. There we go. Okay. Yeesh, that was some shitty timing on a lot of those. There goes Jerk Wizard the second. Fuck you. And we could nail a nice solid maybe 208 on this if we don't fuck it up royally. Pretty good on health, full magic. Some backup potions just in case. Yeah. I'd be a little disappointed if we didn't nail 208. This means I can't be quite as aggressive during the bat phase though based on how much, uh, health I don't have. Oh, 
Mm, let's do a couple more just in case. Just for good measure to see that we uh, get through phase two there. Oh, boo, really? Lame. Alright, we should be good now. Eastern Palace, you shitbag. Oh, god damn it, really? The control's stuck on that a little bit. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Get another one here? Excellent. Okay, that should be good. Eat shit Ganon. That was a pretty good fight, considering. Easy sub 208. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Bam! 20717. Holy heck. That was a very generous key sanity. Holy shit. Amazing. We'll take it. We'll fucking take it, man. It sucks that it was Lamp on MSP, but that's pretty much the only bad thing about this seed. Phew. Phew. Incredible. I am- I am super pleased with how that went. Super pleased. Alright, oops. Fair to fast forward sit here at normal speed for this. Or maybe? Oh. Uh. 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 Where's my prepare to fast forward? What the hell? <laughs> Thought it was, uh... Alright. Damn it. There. Oh, probably because... Yeah, I think I know why. Second. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's why. <laughs> Alright, prepare to fast forward. Small keys for purchase for both the bottle vendor and Zora. You find the powder? The Mushroom Literacy, Brian, or the Boots. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, but hey, that's not bad. We left a fair few overworld things unchecked, a fair few dungeon items unchecked. Had not bad routing in there. And also got lucky, so... All kind of added up. Added up properly for us this time. Fantastic. Fantastic. Can't even complain. Flashlight sleeps. Oh, right, the lamp. <laughs> yep, we knew about that. <laughs> and we knew it was going to be something early on, too, because I think there. Which hint was it that told us that MSP was going to be required? I think maybe the one up in Death Mountain, up inside Spectacle Rock. I was like, oh, a unique item is on the pedestal. It's like, ah, shit. Shit, how dare you. How dare you, RNG. But it turned out okay. It turned out I. It turned out I. Take a look at the end screen here, take a look at some stats, and then we'll wrap it for tonight.
Alright, I think we're kind of acclimatizing ourselves to key sanity now, though. We're making fewer mistakes. And remembering stuff a little bit better. So that's nice. That's real nice. Sword at six and change in was nice. Super early flute at the right time was nice. Mirror sub ten minutes, great. Pretty good progression of swords. GT big key was super early. Uh, I think all those were intentional. All those deaths, so that's good. Ended up 207.17. Very nice, two-thirds collection rate. That's about what I want to see. Anything higher than that, and it's like... <laughs> But very good. What a what a fantastic key sanity that was. I feel like I might have burned my luck. <laughs> burned too much of my luck, now I'm gonna get a real shitty seed for the marathon. Oh well. That's just how it goes. But alright, that'll do it for tonight. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7pm CDT. Salt Android Cactus speedruns. I'm gonna see if I can touch up my layouts for that as well. I've got a couple new ones waiting in the wings for those types of speedruns as well. And then also some new ones for my regular streams, which I'm not sure will be ready for Monday, but, you know, we'll do our best. We'll do our best. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.